Today I would like to discuss the various triggering options for the Fluke 190 series scope meter. We do have a unique feature with all of our scope meters, which is called connect and view. So as soon as you apply a signal to the meter, it will seek it out and give you at least three divisions of deflection on the screen and set your amplitude and your time base automatically. If you want to go a little further and start triggering and take some additional options, you simply press the trigger button and now you can decide on which channel you want to trigger, whether it's A, B, C, or D. You can also trigger on the rising slope of the curve. You can trigger on the falling slope of the curve or you can pick the point of crossover as your trigger point. You can also go from an auto level if you wanted to trigger at a specific location on the curve you would go into manual mode allowing you to make adjustments as to exactly where your waveform is going to trigger. You have additional options by depressing the F4 key and these are for specific applications. So once again we can go back into automatic we can also choose to trigger on edges. We can also go in and trigger from a video signal on your A input. And from there, we can select the respective type of video, whether it's PAL or NTSC or any option that is available. We can also go back, say if you're looking at the output of a drive, and now you can trigger on a pulse. And by selecting that, you can select your positive or negative pulse, the transition time, the pulse width, enabling you to get the best display on your scope meter at all times. So there you have the various triggering options for your 190 series scope meter, enabling you to best see your waveform and enhance your troubleshooting.